Hello, my name is Mark Quatermain. I'm the baseband product marketing manager at Xilinx. We're here at Mobile World Congress 2010. What we have here is a demonstration of LTE targeted design platform, which is built on Xilinx's Vertex Silicon, on top of which we build our tools. And very significantly, we build LTE specific IP and reference designs that build on top of that to get customers to market as quickly as possible with LTE solutions. Now LTE is the next generation cellular standard that drives vastly improved efficiency in the air interface, driving down costs, improving efficiency for operators. Of course with LTE there are challenges involved in developing those types of systems, most notably supporting the data rates which are required, supporting the end-to-end -end latencies that LTE implies as part of the standard. So that's a certain headache for the equipment manufacturers. What we can offer as Xilinx, as part of our LTE targeted design platform, is a much more streamlined solution than perhaps they have typically seen. So if we take this example from our partner Interphase, they produced an AMC card here, which includes a single Vertex 6 device and a WinPath 3 device from our partner Wintegra. The Vertex 6 can handle all of the processing requirements for the complete physical layer, both for the uplink and the downlink, for a 20 MHz 4x4 system. The solution from Wintegra here can handle the layer 2 processing and also the transport functions. So really on this card you have a complete LTE channel card in a very compact form factor, vastly driving down the system costs, driving down the power dissipation and driving down the form factor compared to the typical solutions that have been seen, for instance, in 3G networks and previously. If you look at these boards uh, here, then we're running actually a demonstration of our LTE baseband targeted design platform with the IP we've developed with the reference designs. We're showing a complete downlink and a complete uplink running on this evaluation board. You can see behind here the board from our partner Wintegra, which is running the layer two protocols and running the transport protocols as well. So we feed the downlink through to our user equipment emulation board, which is then displaying the results on the third party equipment from Agilent, so the LTE VSA software, which you can see here. This is all running in real time. Now for the uplink, we generate data from the Agilent, MIMO emulator, the, the PXB equipment they have, into our evaluation board through the uplink decode functions, which include, very importantly, spatial multiplexing MIMO decode. And in fact, on the screen above, we can see we have real spatial multiplexing MIMO running here with two users using the same resources using two separate code words. That's true MIMO spatial multiplexing running in real time. To find out more information about the solutions I've been discussing here, please visit xilinx.com. Thanks very much.